Hello everybody, it's Rick. It's Monday morning, August 7th. You know, the year is passing by so fast. You know, I talk to a lot of people. You all know that about me. I had 137 conversations last week. Many of the conversations last week were about the same thing. How do you handle distractions and chaos? Well, I've got 100 employees at the core, 100 employees at my three branches of Summit Funding. We've got 1,100 employees that me and Todd share owning Summit Funding. So that's a lot of people that I'm dealing with. So it turns into a lot of chaos and a lot of drama and a lot of my dad's sick, my mom's sick, my daughter's sick, my son's sick, my uncle's got cancer. A lot of distractions, and a lot of chaos. You know, sometimes it's overwhelming. So I'm going to give you my four-step secret to handle any drama, any chaos, any problems in your life. Four steps guaranteed to fix all your problems. First thing, go to work. In sales, that means make more phone calls. You should be talking to 100 people a week minimum. You need to write down every conversation. Track all your conversations. When you go to work, you don't have time for a lot of drama. So I go to work. Get in early. Stay late. Work five days a week. If you're broke, work Saturday. If you're really broke, work Saturday and Sunday. Go to work. That's the answer always to get things done. Go to the gym. I go to the gym twice a week with a trainer. I eat 2,000 calories every day. I keep track of my calories and my exercise. Go to the gym. It releases endorphins, makes you feel good about yourself. You look better and you feel better. Third, go home. Go on a date with your significant other. Hang out with your kids. Make pancakes. Do chores around the house. Go home. And fourth and not least but most important, go to church. Go to church on Sunday. Go to a Bible study during the week. Learn how to serve and trust Jesus and you'll have a better life. So, four steps to handling chaos and drama in your life. Go to work. Make more phone calls. Go to the gym. Exercise. Eat right. Go home. Go on a date with your significant other. Play with your children. Make pancakes. And number four, go to church. I don't get in much trouble because I don't have any free time to get in any trouble. That's really my life. When I do have free time, I play with my hot rods and I smoke cigars in a cigar store. So very little chance for me to get in trouble. Now, when I'm sitting around bored, that's when my mind starts to wander. And things I just, for me, I get like some crazy thoughts come into my head. So I got to make sure I don't have time for those crazy thoughts. You know, when I was at church Sunday, my pastor, and I, I go to Elevation and I follow a guy named Stephen Furtick, who I like a lot. I like him a lot. And he's talking about David and dealing with King Saul before David became king. And how that he does so many great things in spite of his mind wandering off and wanting to do so many bad things. And I think that all of us, no matter who we are, we deal with the drama of life. And I think that it gets the best of some of you. Don't let it get the best of you. So when things are getting bad, go to work, bang out those phones, make more phone calls, help more people, go to doggone home, go on a date with your significant other, do chores in the yard, clean the garage, clean the yard, take care of your property, do your laundry, go home. I think that uh, go to the gym and exercise a couple days a week and go to church. So I think those four things help me deal with my drama. They help deal with me deal with my chaos. Uh, I want to have a week that blows by super fast. The weekend blew by. I went on a date with my wife Friday night. We went to the movies, hung out, relaxed. Uh, I went to the cigar store on Saturday after I cleaned my garage and did chores. I went to church on Sunday. Uh, bummed around. My buddy came over. We putzed with hot rods last night. Very full weekend. I'm rested. Went to bed early. I'm ready to come to work. I'm going to bang the phones out and see a lot of people this week. Uh, I think it's a very simple, fulfilling life. You know, somebody sent me a sign, and it's funny. It's something that I've been talking about. It's got my name on it. It says, Rick Ruby says, I need to be simple, fun, and interested. And it's really the key. Have a simple life, and you won't get in a lot of trouble. So listen, I want you to have a big week. I want you to call a lot of people. I want you to be excited to talk to them. I want you to just get in there and serve whatever their needs are. Ask them, what can I do for you? How can I help you? Those are the questions. How are you feeling? Those are the questions we want to ask our clients to open up conversations so we can find out how to serve them at a higher level. You know, next Friday we have the Mega in Dallas. 
We have a thousand people coming to learn how to generate more leads. We have 850 staff people coming, learning how to do their job at a higher level and support their salespeople. So I want you to know that you got to get training. I'm looking to be trained all the time by reading books, watching TV, going to church, going to seminars, hiring coaches. You got to get training to be all you could be. So listen, I want this to be a gigantic week. I don't care what happened this week and I don't care what happened last week. I want you to put it all out of your mind. I want you to put your head down and focus and I want you to make great things happen this week. You can do it. Rick Ruby out. See you later. Bye. <laughs>